Alright, there she is. What's up guys, it's Ali from Roman Motor Company. We are actually finally here at Roman Motor Company. You've seen lots of our videos. We do the walk around videos and we do talk about the cars. But uh, we've also been getting a lot of uh, people asking to do vlog type videos where you know we show you guys the behind the scenes, take you guys to the auctions potentially, which we're actually gonna plan on uh, doing that today. And then also hopefully have some cars where you can do like before and afters as we restore these vehicles. And so I think we're gonna try to do these like at least once a week, uh, twice a week, every single week. Our photographer and videographer Andrew's here behind the camera, so he's gonna be helping us with it. And yeah, let's go show you guys the cars and see what we got here. So in here, we're gonna give you guys, I guess, a quick walk around of the whole shop. So this S2000 uh, I've had for almost uh, two years. We got it for the shop, it's supposed to be a shop track car. Uh, never really goes to the track. It's been almost two years since it's been on the track, but uh, it's very well set up. It used to be a time attack car uh, built by one of my good friends, uh, Chris. And then uh, over the years, we painted this thing uh, Brewster Green. We did some interior work. Uh, made it look prettier. You know, we put the GRZs on it actually uh, two months ago. But uh, overall, this is kind of like the shop car. And you guys will notice that I do love the color green. I think a lot of you have noticed that. So there's another S2000. I think we already posted a walk around of this car. Uh, once again, this is also some sort of, you know, track build. It used to be actually very modified in the past by the previous owner. This one is a Porsche Cayenne GTS. I got this car a couple months ago and the plan for this was to lift it, put some off-road setup, uh, wheels and tires, maybe a roof rack, armor in the front, things like that. But um, from what we're seeing, we've had like at least like 10 people ask about this car. We may just sell it as is or throw on, bring a trailer or whatever the case may be. So, all right, so in here, this is our service and detail side. So this is actually a different company. It's Roman Motor Works. That's what you guys have been seeing on our Instagram and YouTube and stuff too. But this is where we do all the reconditioning. So this is our detail area. Alex here is doing a paint correction on this GMC Denali. Uh, this is, uh, belongs to one of my really, really good friends, Mike. Uh, and it's got a couple dings and scratches and stuff, so we're making it look nice and pretty. This car is not going to get dry. It's blasted. It's just you know a regular um, diesel truck that's getting used for a bit of construction work, uh, a bit of uh, you know hauling the family around type deal. So it's just here for a full paint correction, graphene coating, and I believe oil change as well. So that's that. We have this guy that just came in. This is a 2004. He's got about 139,000 miles. Uh, 2004 Lexus LS 430 uh, timing belt everything is done I want to say it's a one owner car too very very clean we just got it not too long ago like last week so it's gonna get again full paint correction graphene coating dry ice blasting so we get it ready for the next owners we do that pretty much on every single car that we get some of the cars do get dry ice blasted the other ones don't but the paint correction and graphene coating gets done on every single one of them so let's take a look here see what we got here an interesting little car. This is a Toyota Corolla 1994. It's got 120,000 miles. Some old lady owned it. Literally, you know, the story that you want to hear. Um, and it's an extremely, extremely clean shape. This thing's like engine. Let me show you guys the engine. I think 120,000 miles. One owner car. Every maintenance is done at Toyota Poway. I mean, see the engine bay. Looks like a brand new car. The paint looks amazing. The only thing we had to change was uh, the rear bumper had a couple nicks and scratches. So we actually got the whole thing refinished. It's got a couple chips on the front bumper too, but overall it's an absolutely beautiful shape. So there's that. And then here's an interesting one. So those of you that follow us, I think we got this car about like four or five months ago. This is a 2JZ GTE swapped E46 M3. It came, I believe, from uh, Washington or something like that. Uh, so I purchased it from another dealer friend of ours that uh, had this car for a couple months. And then I actually found the guy who built this car. He's on Instagram. Super, super nice guy. I forgot his name right now. I do apologize. He built it all. He's actually on YouTube as well. He has all these um, videos of this car when he got it. He did the motor swap. He built the motor. Uh, all the fabrication and stuff. So we're gonna put those all on once we end up selling this vehicle. But uh, this is a 2JZ GTE, a six speed manual. And this thing is a freaking beast. We got like a little small stuff to fix on it. Obviously we took the bumpers off right now. I had a couple scratches and stuff. So we're getting re uh, those refinished. The rear bumper is getting refinished as well. And we already got the seats reupholstered as well. And right now it's just unfortunately sitting outside. Got a little dirty because we're doing some construction work. But uh, as you can see in here, it's nice and pretty. Leather seats have been completely redone. 
didn't really need it, but you know, considering it's a 2JZ E46, we gotta make it look as nice as possible. So the seats got redone, carpet's all original, headliner, everything's original. Um, paint's gonna obviously get uh, paint corrected, polished, graphene coated. It's already actually dry as well too, so. But uh, anyways, let's go back to the front seat. I think we just got a car delivered uh, a couple hours ago, so it's like, all right, so I'll show you guys the front side. We're all gonna show you the lot probably in the next few days because we're super packed in here, but here is a Outback that's this thing has 37,000 miles on it. It's like almost like a brand new car. When you drive it, it feels like a brand new car. So, uh, going up and ready to go. And then, um, this one just got here, literally like maybe two hours ago. It's 105,000 miles, LS430. This is an ultra luxury. So, let's go take a look at the inside. It's actually my first time getting into this car. So, let's see what it looks like. It smells good. Inside is nice and pretty. All right, got a cracked windshield. I think that happened during transport. They said so we're gonna take care of that. And then uh, yeah, so it's got 105,000 miles. The interior is very very clean actually. The Alcantara looks beautiful. Rear seats. Let's take a look at that. First things first. Let's check to make sure this works. Look at that. These typically fail a lot, so we gotta. It's nice to see. That these work you can actually control the radio from the back seat it's pretty cool and then the other cool feature is let's put the volume down the other cool feature is that you can actually check that out you can recline the seats in the back only the ultra luxuries have that that's the only trim of the ns 43 that had it and also you can massage your back i don't know if you can hear that but basically like this little vibrating mechanism that um, gives you a back massage so anyways let's um, push this car back into retail so this morning we got a uh, 2000 Bentley or notch and uh, we're gonna go pick that up from CarMax today and what we also did is we had a 2000 Civic it's a 99 or 2000 and that particular car was supposed to be a 37,000 mile car in pristine shape at least that's what it showed like in the pictures but car gets here, it's got a bunch of rodent damage and transmission's not working properly. It's got a bunch of bunch of little issues. So luckily, purchasing cars from CarMax, we can return the cars if it's not the way they disclose it to be. So we're gonna take the Civic to CarMax. Hopefully the Bentley's good. We're gonna bring that one back. We're gonna start on the reconditioning process. So let's let's do it. All right guys, so here is the First view of CarMax actually, not the typical CarMax that you guys know, this is CarMax Auction, which typically is in one of their retail locations. And they'll have a huge uh, selection of cars that us dealers can buy. This is where we mostly buy all our cars from. So previous owner doesn't have the car, they don't want to deal with Craigslist, private buyers, sellers, whatever. So they just take it straight to CarMax and they trade it in and then we buy from CarMax. So. No repos, no salvage title. I mean, there's still bad cars here too, like this little Honda Civic that we're driving, but for the most part, CarMax has some, some of the greatest cars. So let's go, let's go take a look. Let's go pick up our Bentley. And now we're taking this car back to arbitration. We're gonna go see our buddy Chris and have him get this car back. F you honking at? <laughs> bro, you making me work with these manual oh, windows. I didn't even know that, my bad, bro. <laughs> does it actually that doesn't work, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Is that how that works? Yeah. Damn, that's cool. All right, thank you, brother. Do you want to put a little tag on the key too? Because it's going to be a return. Or no? It doesn't matter. Uh, they don't matter. We'll do it there. All right, cool. Thank you. What's up, brother? How are you? Good. All that rat food. All right, so we got the Civic arbitration process started. They're going to hopefully return that because it's got all kinds of problems. Now we're going to go find that Bentley. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so CarMax today, I think, sold about 1,600 cars. So all these cars here are going to dealers. They're going to recondition the cars and then sell them to either wholesale to other dealers or retail buyers. And right now, between these 1,600 cars, we got to find the Bentley. Somewhere here, we got to go find it. I have all the cool cars here. This was one of the nicer ones. I actually forgot to bid on this. This is a 996 C4S in beautiful shape, 50,000 miles. Forgot who bought it. They got lucky. It's got... 70,000 miles actually. All right, let's go find this damn Bentley. Pretty clean, huh? All 
right. There she is. This thing is pretty sweet shape. You gotta see what's wrong with this damn thing. The battery's probably dead, guaranteed. Wrong key, maybe? Yes, no. Alright, so now we gotta move these cars out of the way. So we get our car out. Alright, so now I feel like I keep saying that. Alright, so, alright, so. So the next step we're gonna do before we move the car is we gotta check for coolant, check for oil, make sure that stuff is good before we drive this thing and then cause any major damage. So. Take a look, so first things first, we definitely have oil, and it's clean, that's good. And then, let's check the coolant. I think I saw this the other day too, but I'll double check. Coolant's good, everything's good there. Does not have any check in your lights, which is good. And look at this little fuel filler cap or oil filler cap. Boom, very cool. So far, seems good. Look at that turbo. It's a pretty unique setup, huh? Garrett turbo. See what right the? there. Is that, that's aftermarket? No, it's a stock turbo. And it says Garrett? Mm -hmm. I hope it's stock turbo. I don't think they'd... No, Garrett makes the uh, uh, OEM parts too. And for the most part, dude, this thing is freaking mint. Let's take a look at the trunk. Now that I think about it, it's actually the first Bentley we bought as a dealer. Fast, but that's so cool. Anyways, let's figure out the trunk situation. Let's go take this thing for a spin. What the? Oh my god. Uh. I can't put this on myself. Alright, temperature is good. The battery was surprisingly good on the car. We're gonna take this bad boy out for a quick spin. Let's hope that we don't hit anything. Gotta tighten here. She's heavy. Damn, these things didn't have rear camera back in 2000. Beefy. Drive, and we'll be in drive. But most times I have to put it in two, three, and then drive, like shift manually. You see how it's like flashing? Oh yeah, that's always a bad sign. Yeah. Did you scan it for codes or no? No, I don't think we even got that far. Alright. I mean, uh, one time it grinded too. I mean, it's got a little problem, so. Let's see what we got here. Got all the user's manuals. Got a Mulliner catalog. Like that. Very cool. Alright, let's take this guy for a quick spin. So now, we're finally out of auction. CarMax auction after about an hour and a half of messing around. Car's out of the auction. This is the afternoon, we're going to take it for a quick test drive first, make sure everything is good. And if there's any issues, we return it back. But everything seems to be fine so far. And the only things I can see is one or two door dings. And uh, other than that, dude, this thing is freaking gorgeous. Interior is beautiful shape. It's a non-smoker car, which is what we always look for. And the headliner, seats, everything looks flawless. Obviously, this car is very, very dirty right now. And the auction for the last two to three weeks, maybe about two weeks, because I thought about a year, week and a half ago. And then uh, we're going to take it to the shop. Paint correction, dry ice blasting, whatever services it needs. I think the rear airbags are kind of on their way out, so we're gonna see what our options are to get that fixed and uh, bring a trailer. It's gonna, it's gonna go straight to bring a trailer, see how she does. Most likely a no reserve auction. I see a little scratch right here, but that's easy to fix. We're gonna polish that out. And uh, yeah, hopefully it goes to a good home. It does good. I'll try to enjoy it as much as I can for the next couple of uh, days and week or two. See what it feels like to have a Bentley. Got the Bentley, beautiful shape all around as I showed you guys outside. Uh, it's got a little minor stuff wrong with it, like the, I think the rear airbags are a little stiff. Uh, most likely needs replacement. 
all the temp gauges, everything is uh, exactly what it should be. Temperature is good. Fuel, we filled it up halfway. The oil pressure, obviously, that's important once you always check for that stuff. Uh, typically, on diesel trucks, we have all these gauges so we keep an eye on. Overall, the car is definitely uh, it's, a, it's a hit. I like it. Uh, we're gonna get the whatever we can fixed on it that needs to be fixed, obviously. So some stuff like that. I don't think it's supposed to be that tight, but uh, we'll get that fixed. Well, anyway, we are back at the shop. The Bentley was success. Luckily, the Bentley doesn't have any issues. Really, really good shape. Yeah, anyways, the Bentley was good. The Civic is returned, luckily. We didn't have to deal with that. Um, and then we just got the LS430, seems like. And um, yeah, we got a couple cars ready for bringing a trailer. We're gonna be walking you guys through the whole detail process, dry ice cleaning process, as well as we'll probably have some customers' interactions too in these videos so you guys can really see how it goes down. Um, I think that will be it. I think that will be it for today's video. And in the comments, um, Instagram comments, YouTube comments, you guys can let us know what else you guys want to see. Uh, we'll try to make this as fun as possible for you guys. But um, for now, I think that ends the video. We will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.